So this is the first warmish day in a while, and we decided to go for a hike. We're gonna do Jasper Mountain, which is right up there. It's a pretty fun hike and has a little bit of history to it. So this sign marks the beginning of the trail, and there are these other signs throughout the trail giving you different facts about the area. Hiking up the mountain is not too difficult. It's about 1,500 feet, and it only takes about 25 minutes, obviously varying on your condition and the condition of the trail. As in, today we were hiking with a lot of snow, so it took us a little bit longer. So a lot of hiking up the mountain is kind of like a 45 degree angle. So pretty much like a staircase, which isn't that bad, but after about 20 minutes or so, you do get a little bit winded. So if you're not used to hiking, totally suggest just taking some breaks. Enjoy the view. So this cool painting, it's an artist's rendition of what the valley used to look like. But it's also a little bit sad because it is what it looks like now. So we are pretty much to the top. But this is not my favorite place. We have to go a little bit further. Still, it's a pretty good view. Now this is one of my favorite places on Mount Jasper. It's um, right to a little bit further than the peak, but it has this 180 degree view of just mountains all around. Now some of the historical facts about Mount Jasper are it's one of the few um, pre-colonial times um, that we've found a site where Native Americans used to mine. They would get rhyolite from the mining of Mount Jasper and use it for a lot of their hand tools and weapons. Now, it, they say that the Abenaki tribe used to gather here at least once a year to have a festival and to do this mining. Now, the Abenaki tribe is actually like a whole group of a whole bunch of different tribes, including Penobscot, um, all the way from the east to up more in the north of Canada. And they would all gather in this valley, which is now Berlin, New Hampshire. So this is one of my favorite spots. It's an awesome panoramic view. But we're going to go down to the Rhylite mining um, cave that the Indians used to mine the Rhylite out of. And that is over here. So, we're going to go climb down there, see the cave. So, we are sitting right on this ledge. We have to hike down this trail here to come to the caves down here. 
the peak is all the way up on this section. about coming up to Jasper Mountain is when you look out over the edge, the way the wind currents go, the birds often fly below you. And we've been up here a lot of times and we've never come without seeing the large birds of prey, which is really, like, really special to see. My favorite part of going to Jasper Mountain is probably the cave. And especially this time, it's the first time that like it's cooler than it's ever been because like those icicles hanging down and it just looks really cool. Yeah, you can see it. My favorite part is when you get to the top, you can see like Elephant Mountain and a whole bunch of different other mountains. Where is Elephant Mountain? Right there. So we did end up seeing some ospreys, but um, I didn't get any chance to actually film them this time, which is too bad. It's almost like they know you're trying to film them and just leave right when you want to <laughs> see them closer. So hiking up 45 degree angle with snow and ice, it's not a big deal, but it's going to be interesting going down this. I think I have to put the camera away or else it will end up in the snow and ice also. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. We have a lot of fun hiking here and in a lot of the other places in northern New Hampshire right now. And um, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe and like the video and find us on our next adventure.